Aloha folks. Today we're gonna go over the seven most common questions that we get asked about Maui residential real estate. We talk to folks every day about Maui real estate and there's certain questions that just come up over and over. So let's get started with question number one. Probably the most common question is, can I use the property for short-term vacation rentals? Now with residential properties, and that's all we're talking about today on this video, most of the time you cannot. There are a lot of folks that are on the mainland that dream of owning a property on Maui. They've been coming here for a long time and they love the idea of buying a home over here, use it for part of the year, put it on Airbnb the rest of the year and everything will be great. Well, unfortunately, Maui County makes it very difficult to do that unless you have a permit a short-term rental license. We call them the STR license. If you wanna buy a short-term rental, then you really wanna be looking at a property that's zoned for that. And most of the time you're gonna be looking at condos. All right, let's move on to question number two. Is what happens if there are unpermitted improvements, additions, or rentals on the property? It's very common to see properties that have things done to them that nobody ever went out and got permits for. You know, sometimes these are things that you could just go and get an after the fact permit and isn't that big of a deal. Other times we see things where you wouldn't be able to get a permit for. When you're shopping for homes, it's great to have an agent that you're working with that knows about this stuff and can help guide you through the process. Because if let's say you're getting financing for the property, then it's even more of a concern during the shopping process because when your bank sends out an appraiser, they're gonna be looking for these things and there's certain red flags that can either lower the value of the home in the appraisal, or even sometimes it can flag a property so bad that the bank's just gonna say, we can't lend on this. There's a little bit of a dance that happens, especially when you are getting financing. Now, if you're a cash buyer, it's not as big of a deal, but it's important for you to know what you're buying it's necessary that you assess the property and make an offer that you think is a realistic value. Question number three, do you have any recommendations for contractors or handyman? This is really common. If someone's on the mainland, they don't know anybody often and they're scratching their heads like, is there anybody I can even hire? Very common for people to buy homes and then right away start tearing stuff out and fixing them up. And so the answer to your question is yes, there are many tradesmen here but let me explain uh, the environment here because it's probably different from where you are if you're not on Maui. So construction costs on Maui are higher than the mainland due to quite a few things. Number one is just the shipping alone. Everything sent here needs to be shipped via boat or air, I guess, and that costs money. And then the living expenses are higher here. So it's costly to live here. So people that are living, working here have to charge more money just to survive. When you're shopping, it's good to have someone helping you at least give you names. So with our clients, we do have a homeowner resource list that we like to share with them. Uh, if you're working with us, we are happy to get you some referrals. Okay, we are on to question number four, and that is what is a CPR? People ask us this like every day, and usually we have to point them out to them because they contact us and say, hey, what about this house? This looks like such a good deal. I wanna know more. And whenever I hear that from someone right away, I think it's probably a CPR. The acronym stands for condominium property regime. A CPR is a legal mechanism for dividing a single property into two or more separate units of ownership. Each CPR unit has its own fee simple ownership, its own mortgages, its own expenses, and its own taxes. The, the tax department sees them as separate units, but the building department sees it, all the units together as one property. They don't split it up in their system, really. It's not the cleanest split, but people then ask, well, why not just do a subdivision? And the simple answer is the county makes it extremely difficult. Okay, we are on to question number five. Can I build a cottage or ohana on the property? Of course, it'd be great if every property could allow you to build additional living units, rental units. And there is no clean answer on this because it depends on the county zoning, the state zoning, and HOA restrictions. This is something that your agent can help you with. It's just not a black and white subject. Some properties will allow more than two homes. It's just a matter of finding out what are the specific circumstances for the property that you're interested. All right, let's move on to number six. How much are property taxes? Very common question. 
And let's keep this one short because it's not very exciting. We do have a whole website on this. Uh, we'll put a link below. Hawaii, um, compared to most states, is considered to have lower property taxes than most places. But the rate does fluctuate depending on you know the year and also what kind of deals they're offering because they actually offer, if let's say you live in the house, they do a homeowner exemption. And what that does is it allows you to deduct $200,000 off the value of your home before you get taxed. Now, if it's a long-term rental, you get a certain rate. If you own a short-term rental, the rate's much higher unless you live in the unit or there's something else you should know about. If you put a long-term renter in your home, then the county is trying to incentivize people to do that. Instead of letting a house just sit empty, they'll also give you a break on your property taxes. So generally speaking, Maui, compared to where you're used to on the mainland, has likely got lower property taxes unless you are buying a short-term rental. Okay, moving on to question number seven, we're almost done, you guys, is how quickly do homes typically sell? People are often wondering, what's the market here on Maui like compared to the mainland? Typically, Maui homes sell within 115 days from being listed. And uh, last year in 2023, the on average homes sold for 98% of their list price. Homes do sell usually close to the price you see listed. If a home is priced very competitively, we usually see them sell for over ask. So when you see that the average being 98%, What's really putting it that high is how many homes actually sell for over the ask price. Okay, that brings us to the end of our seven most commonly asked questions about residential properties. Hope this helped you today. You know, we are here to assist. If you wanna contact us directly, I'll throw our information up on the screen. We'll also be down in the video description. And mahalo for joining us today. My name is Brett Christensen and hope to talk to you soon. You take care, aloha.